I'll just press connecting this one. Okay, so we're going to warm up first for our hit session. Then grab yourself a weight, guys. Um, we'll do a few weights as well before we get into our actual cardio session itself. So we we'll just warm up nice and easy. Big step touch. Hope the hip flexors are feeling a bit better, Chloe, today. Mine felt fab by the end of that session yesterday. Yeah, if anyone's got tight hips, I did. Chloe's hips were bothering me yesterday. So we did a really nice, gentle, well, I don't know if it was gentle, but a nice stretch session. And I'm pretty sure I put it on YouTube as well, just in case. And four more in ever. Three, two, you've not missed anything done, just a little warm up. And one, and then take hands up for six, better balance than me. Five, four, three, two, one. Carry on warming up them calves, but just take a four backwards, a three. A two, a one, follow the other one, four, three, two, one, and straight into my kill and wires, four, two, four, three. Oh, I watched the second Jumanji film last night with the boys, I forgot how good it was. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Straight into a deep sumo type squat. Keep the shoulders down, tight through the tongue. Hips come backwards. Super low. And two. Keep that bum really sticking towards that wall. Eight. Seven. Six. Towards the floor, a little bit of softness in the knees. 
Chin or roll up. And final roll down, chin to chest, hips back, way all the way forwards. Gently down. Take it out. Again, tight through the tummy, feel that strength in the shoulder girdle, turn it up. Hold. Back. And take the hips up, walk it back. Don't come quite into roll up yet. So just take the right heel down and the left.
one, well done, the other side, shoulders down, lift, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, do you look right far away, Emma? Five, four, you look like that, honey, I shrunk the kids, three, two, and one, well done, and just a reverse lunge and a tricep. Yeah, hold on to something if you need. Ten, just to open up the hips. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, last lot, 20, full sumo squats, down, up, overhead, and for two, and for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, lovely warm up, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, good work, okay. Sorry guys, I've got a tiny dry throat, give me a sec. Whew. don't know why it's so dry today. All right, we're gonna do squat, jump, yeah? Or squat, shh, shh, squat, yeah? Okay, three, two, one. Squat, jump, have your arms up, squat, Squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, jump, squat, squat, keep the hands overhead.
beautiful. Take a little calf stretch. <sighs> Other side, we've got spotted dog to squat. Three rounds. You can switch. We'll all do the first one together, then I'll show her another one, and then another one. But you can always come back to this one. Three, two, one. Spot and dog. Down. Time travel, but not travel, you know, jump.
Get your breath. Just went to the dog for a while last night and listen to Mary J. Blythe's Christmas album. So beautiful. <sighs> okay. Three, two, one. Double star jump. Tuck or right, to the side.
Well done, good work. We're going to keep up again. Yeah, do you know you just feel something with your neck? Give it a nice little pull the muscles away from the vertebra. Fine. Okay, go. We're going to do ins and outs. Three, two, one. Take it up, 
push it in. And the side. Feels a bit better. You just have to take one wrong look at the camera when you're teaching. You can ooh, ooh, to get someone's fingers in there. And then up. So let's do, to finish off the cardio before we get down and do some abdominal work, I want you to do butt kick. Yeah, as high as you can. So none of these. We're going for a little jog. Proper get that heel up to your buttock. It's a great way of buttock, isn't it? Let's go, three, two, one, nice and high. Nice and fast, high and fast. Full minute.
So your prep position for plank, you want to make sure the elbow is kind of not right forward or back. It needs to be in line really with the hip bone. Lift up that bottom waist. So imagine that you've had the biggest Sunday dinner and you feel like you've got a well, the hand, not pretty, Anna. Lift up, keep the shoulder down and just lift and just try and get that connection. Or if you are familiar with plank, just lift the whole way up. You can take hands there. Just make sure the neck's nice and relaxed. Yeah. Push the hips forward, lift up the bottom waist. So we're just going to hold. I was going to pulse, but I'm not going to do pulse today. Just hold, keep lifting. You can take hand up. Whatever you feel, you can do a thread the needle. Yeah, that's bothering my neck a little bit. I'm just going to rub my neck, guys. Towards that right side. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, push the hips forward. Another 10, 9, 8, 7. You should be feeling the waist. 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently down, well done. This will have a kill off your arm and neck. Okay, so again, big gap between ear and shoulder. Make sure that shoulder's not back there. In line with the hip bone, lift up the bottom waist. The prep is just lifted. All your full one. Legs stacked or one foot in front. Lift it up. Keep that waist lifted. This is fine, actually. Hold. Keep lifting. Ten seconds left. Or you can go under. I'm not today. This if you want to stop, you can do a little side like this if you want. Quite hard. Last 15. Okay, beautiful. Oh, we do okay. Time is perfect. Let's just come. We did do these last week, did we? So, just going to bring ourselves into. I'm going to do two roll ups, two single legs, one, two, and then two double legs. 
I'm going to see how my neck feels. If it doesn't feel great, I'm not going to do the double one. Okay, so arms come backwards off to there. Take a beautiful breath in, start with the roll up. Chin towards the chest, reach forward. Or you can just rest, guys, now. Just do some supine spine stretches, whatever you feel. Single leg, one. Ribs down, two. Lower back down, one. Lower back down, two. Roll up again. One, restart. Two, so stretching out the hamstrings at the same time. Alternate, one. Two, double leg. Double leg. Roll up. Roll up. Single leg. Single leg, double, or not, double, last round, roll up, roll up, single, single, double, double in fact, one more round, last one as I promise. One, two, single, single, double, oh, double, and relax. Well done. Bring the knees into your chest. Have a good old stretch out. And then just side to side, glue the legs together, go into your supine spine stretch, take a big breath in. Belly rises, exhale back down, back to centre, the other way. Back to centre position. And then just take the one leg up, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, circle three, circle back, inversion, eversion, inversion, eversion, gently down the other leg, point and flex, point and flex, point. Flex, circle three, two, one, circle back, take the foot in and out, inversion, 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 hold, bring both feet together, open up your chest, turn the palms up to ceiling, just sit into butterfly stretch, walk the feet a little bit close to the pubic bone, again chin towards the chest, Hold. And then just side to side again. I'm just going to take it to that side, guys. That's the side that needs stretching my right side. It's just a recurring injury that she gets fine for ages. After my swimming, it was awful. It's just that little tightness again. So deep on it. And well done, lovely. Turn over onto your front. Just take a beautiful cow pose. Cat pose. Cat. Cat. And then tuck your toes under and just gently soften the knees as you walk it back. Slowly up. Oh, perfect. I'm just going 